Have you ever looked at a product label of cannabis and wondered what all those information is telling you? Well, this Debaco University video will go through and break down a label uh, to help you understand all the nuances that the information that the label can provide you with. All right, let's get into understanding a sample label for cannabis products. Now they all may look slightly different. Some may look like this. We're gonna go over one that's a little bit more um, kind of what you typically would see on the outside packaging. So first off, we're looking at a sales page. So this may be what you see on a website page and it provides you with some of the general information you can see right here about the product that serves best for comparisons to other available products. Kind of what the cost is, is it in stock, how much, uh, in this case THC levels, THCA levels, um, kind of that little comparison there. We're gonna get into a little bit more of the details of the actual label that might be on a product like this. So that website information, there are often used for the initial selection process, but then once you go through and have that selection, you might be getting a product label. What is that product label actually gonna tell you? So here's just an example of a product label. We can see this one uh, clearly kind of evident here and labeled with different parts. Where I'm gonna go through and break down each of these 15 individual parts in more detail. But this is an example of just kind of what a label may look like. And there's a lot of information that is presented in a very small space very efficiently if you know how to read it. So starting here with number one there. Well, number one is the CT Pharma logo. So this product is produced by CT Pharma. This is their logo right here. It's always advised to have some company advertising as you want consumer recognition for your product. The intention is to have them associate the consumers, associate your company with a quality product. And that's why that's kind of like top and center. Moving our way down the label to number two, this is where we get to the strain name and also the product name. So in this case, what is actually being purchased? Uh, in this case, we're looking at a dry flower example. This does apply to other uh, cannabis related products as well, but this is referring to a dry flower example. So now we can get into working our way down to number three here. We have the product potency. And this T32% here refers to the product having 32% THC, and that would be officially confirmed uh, lab test, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. It's great, there's ways to visually inspect flowers and visually compare flowers. This is looking at the actual percent of THC generated from the third-party lab. Working way down here, we see a color bar indicator. This isn't necessarily an industry standard, but for the CT Pharma here, indica is gonna be a purple color, sativa and orange, and a hybrid is gonna be a green color. Makes it really easy for quick comparisons. However, as I said, not necessarily an industry standard. Don't think just because you're buying something else that has this kind of orange color, that it must be a sativa versus a green and a blue. And so the colors in this example for this particular company, this is what they represent. Working away a little further down, number five, type and approximate potency. So while many consumers will look at, and while important, you should be looking at more than just this, more than just, oh, it's a sativa there at 31.93% THC. You need to be looking at e e getting into even more detail on there, but it does provide you there, just so you have some idea of what you're purchasing. And we can see in other labels too, um, kind of their method of organization might be a little bit different, but this is a nicely outlined label right here. Going to number six, we have the date tested. This is the approximate date that the product was tested by a state-approved laboratory. Uh, so we can see here, it definitely says dates tested, and it gives you the date right here with the month, the day, followed by the year. Then we have the lot number. So number seven here, lot number. The lot number is a combination of four numeric digits that are given to a group of products that were manufactured in the same batch there, so they might be unique. Different lot numbers associated with different products. So I don't think it's only unique to Canvas. A lot of times you're picking up here a candy bar, you could see lot numbers also provided on that packaging. Then we get into the NDC or the National Drug Code. Four digit national uh, drug code assigned to the product. Here's a link if you want the directory. And when we're looking at number eight here, the NDC, the number's given right here. And that product code. A national drug code, I should say, applies to a variety of other products as well. So it's not just cannabis here. In this case, we're looking at 05150 being the product code for Advil there. So again, just kind of makes it that nice way to have that comparison and that standardization all part of the required labeling process. 
Moving on to number nine here, we have the quantity, and that refers to the amount of product per unit. So in this case, we're looking at 3.5 grams. You want to have an idea of just how much product would be it contained in this particular packaging. We're going around here below here. We have the expiration date. So approximate date um, uh, that the state approved laboratory deems the product expired. Uh, so here we're looking at that kind of uh, representative sample here. We're looking at giving about a year. So here we have that January 15, 2021. The expiration date of this product is listed as January 15, 2022. Might be familiar with expiration dates such as milk and other products as well. Also present here on the cannabis example. If we're looking uh, kind of a working way down here, we have the contaminant testing. So it's confirmation that the product has passed the microbiological test by the state laboratory, as well as microtoxins, heavy metals, chemical residues. Here we see all passed. Now it's great to see on the label, but we also want to be confirming this on the analytical report. 12 is the CT Pharma uh, contact information. So when we're looking at kind of what's who has manufactured it, where are they located, it's good to see the company puts their contact information on the label, that they're willing to stand behind their products. That's a great thing to see. It's listed right here. Then we have the cannabinoid uh, content, uh, number 13, kind of in the little box right here. Percentage of each cannabinoid found in the product. They're listed as percentages. Others may do little color bars and bar, uh, like a bar graph um, for comparison, but here we just see them stated as percents. Then we have the terpenes located up here. Again, some go graphical. Here we're just seeing the numbers, percentage for each terpene found in the product, as well as the total terpene percentage uh, right here in this particular flower. And lastly, we have the QR code. Simply scan the QR code with your smartphone. It will bring you to the product page and or analytical report. So they mentioned that analytical report, very important um, there because that's the original document that these numbers were generated from. And this analytical report, uh, what's, why are they so important? Well, they provide you with information regarding the actual test results, including the lab, the dates, and the lot number. It's kind of like the official kind of paperwork, which hopefully the numbers from the label were generated from. You can confirm that. Also, you can confirm what lab they were using, what license number, lot number, and if you had any questions, you could contact the lab with this information and make sure that they can confirm that they definitely did test the product that you have that for. Just a great way to be an informed consumer. Check and balances is a great thing, and this way you can ensure you're getting a product uh, that is of known tested uh, basis for the numbers that you see represented on that label.